Hey guys, this is Vetlana from Kamui Cosplay and this is part 2 from my Final Fantasy XIV Summoner making of tutorial video series. Yeah. <laughs> In the last video I showed you how to make cool boot covers for your own costume, so check out this video here. And this time I'm going to show you how to make cute Mikate cat ears like this one. As always, if you like to support me, buy my cosplay crafting books and I will be super happy! Otherwise, I will be a sad cat. So, if you want to be super cute, let's go! This is what my summoner ears looks like. Such a cute kitty! To begin, I drew the basic shape on some paper. I cut it out and traced it on black warbler. This will be my base later. For reference, I just checked Zelda's ears. Pink and fluffy on the inside, but outside it's mostly short hair. And stop! Following my reference, I heated up the warbler and brought it into shape. You see, they got a really nice curve. Next, I grabbed some simple white felt, traced my pattern again and cut it out with a little bit of sue allowance. Contact cement worked great to glue it on. Afterwards, I got rid of any excess material with my scissors. To get a nice pink tone on the inside, Benny used his airbrush. For the back, I chose a high quality fake fur I found in the LA fashion district. Again, I traced the patterns, cut it out with some sewer allowance, and glued it onto my warbler base with some contact cement. When gluing, make sure your fur flows into the right direction, which is usually towards the tip of the ear. A vacuum cleaner is great to get rid of all the loose hair flying around. The next step was to carefully fold over the fur on the inside. The one I bought was super long, so I still had to cut most of the hair away. I started trimming all the fluff with my fabric scissors. But afterwards I just stole Benny's electric razor to cut the fur. Getting the right length and style was pretty tough and took a while, but it worked out at the end. After I was done, I cleaned everything up again and started fine-tuning. Looks good! Finally, I used some alcohol-based markers to adjust the color of my fur a bit. First ear was done! My second one was then cut exactly the same way. The wig I used was a high-quality product from my costumes, a German cosplay shop. I also put it on my camera stand, so I could work better. To be able to sew on my ears more easily, I cut away some material. Since I wanted to make my ears stand upright, I decided to use some aluminum wire. I pulled the fur back a bit and glued my wire directly into the ear. Next, I just stuck the metal inside my wig. Then I grabbed the needle and some thread and just sewed on the ear. See? Super easy and my ears were done! With the wire I can adjust the position any way I want. Happy cat or sad cat. Meow! Finally I took my hair scissors and cut my wig a bit shorter. Made braids and also straightened it a bit. A good hairstyle can change a lot, right? A nice summoner horn for the final touch and my Mikote cat ears were done! Yay! Hope this was helpful and let me know in the comments if you have any more questions and how you liked the video. Also, please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Oh, and by the way, the next video will be about how I made this awesome horror. So stay busy and creative, have a good buy my books and see you soon!